Hey you guys, this is Guy Stevens. I've created another Udemy course. I've already got a few of them, like for instance, uh, a beginner tutorial, which is a contact database. That's a free course that you can follow. I've got a complete FileMaker invoice database, which is really interesting uh, to make a invoicing system. Uh, and this new one is a FileMaker booking and reservation system. And that's this one that you're seeing right here. If you follow this course, then you can download this entire file and you will learn how to build this entire system from scratch. Now the essence of, the of this system is the reservations part here. Um, and in this case, I've used the example of a hotel, which is something that everyone can kind of imagine. We have a bunch of rooms in our hotel. So we have rooms which are all a certain type of room um, for a certain amount of people. And all these rooms have certain features. And the big problem that hotels are always dealing with is their reservations. From a certain start date and time to a certain end uh, date and time they have to know exactly which rooms are available and which ones aren't because eventually in a hotel you will get a whole booking list of people that are going to be coming and renting a certain room from a certain uh, start point uh, and until a certain end time for a varied um, ranges in time and you just kind of have to kind of try and uh, figure out in this whole list of stuff where your availabilities are. Now that's the system we're going to be making uh, but this system has all kinds of uh, really cool features like for instance the ability to immediately book a room that is free which brings you to a list of different types of prices that you might use in different kinds of situations you have the ability to um, add breakfasts straight away and when you do you immediately get a uh, booking made for a certain person and uh, you can uh, choose an existing person or add a new one and that person automatically gets its room price plus all the breakfast that they're going to have automatically added to their bill which is pretty handy and I'll just select anyone right here and um, this is kind of a handy and fun system but there's a whole bunch of other stuff we're going to be adding as well for instance um, these people that are going to be staying for breakfast they will show up in our breakfast list and our breakfast list is automatically also a checklist where you can check the people that are showing up for breakfast and if there is someone who does not show up for breakfast then maybe they don't have to pay for breakfast and you can just delete their breakfast which also deletes their breakfast from their uh, bill there are some other cool features uh, and other kinds of charges that we can uh, add to our guests like for instance a laundry list which is a very simple list of uh, laundry items we could be doing for our guests we have the ability to select a guest and simply just add items to uh, uh, to their bill because all the things that we uh, enter here are immediately automatically entered in their bill which is a very handy and very simple way to um, to kind of bill your uh, guest for certain items in the simplest, easiest way possible. No paperwork, no need to do paperwork afterwards. Uh, all of this stuff is done automatically and immediately. We also have a bar in our hotel and this bar has a bar price list with all kinds of items. And if we go into our bar, we have a pretty cool setup going on here. Some cool techniques that we're going to be learning here is, for instance, a dwindling value list, which is a list of our guests that we can add to our um, list of guests that are uh, currently in our bar. And as we add guests, our list here gets smaller and smaller, so we can't add the same guest twice. And then what we can do is in this portal, we can select a guest and then we can uh, uh, here we can note the drinks that they are having. So we can just add drinks and other things that they are going to be having because we got different categories here. And if there's another guest, then we can just select him and add drinks for that guest. All of these items are also immediately added to this guest's bill. So that makes your life and your paperwork so much easier. As we can see in our reservations, all of these charges are automatically added to this customer's bill. And when we're done or when this person wants to check out, we can just make their bill. Everything appears automatically and we can just either print this bill or uh, send an email. And then uh, we have this printable bill where everything is um, basically showing up nicely organized per uh, category. 
If it interests you to know how to build a solution like this, you can uh, follow the link in the description and get a nice discount for my Udemy course.